This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Okay guys, so we're going to go to display, we're going to go to show and all. Let's make sure that our cup is a good fit. That's not bad. So let's UV this guy, all right? So let's start with the tricky part. We'll take the lid here. And uh, let's first make sure we don't have any ingons. So we're gonna go to mesh and clean up. Okay, apply. Let's do a select and see what it comes up with. Looks okay. So we're gonna to go to UV. Let's try an automatic projection. Let's see what we get. UV and UV editor. Okay, so a bunch of stuff, right? So apparently that's not ideal. So let's switch to this view here. And let's try a planar projection. That's definitely not good. Uh, let's see what else. I think we'll still go with the automatic. Yeah, we'll work with that, okay? So uh, I know what this is looking like, so I can just uh, make this nice and large. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna turn this on so we can see it better. All right, and let's start to stitch this stuff together. So I'm gonna right click and go to edge. And I'm just gonna select a little bit there and go to move and sew. And G to repeat. And don't worry about this looking weird. I just want to get an initial grouping. And actually, let's see if we can do that a bit faster. Okay, I'm gonna right click that shell. I'm gonna select all of this and I'm gonna to go to unfold. Let's give that a sec. Thinking about it, right? I'm gonna to go to edge, select this, go to, uh, where is it? Move and so. And we're just gonna to start to select these outer edges and bring them together. And then we're gonna select the shell again, and we're gonna to go to unfold once again. Okay, we're getting closer. Right click edge, let's select this area here, and go to move and sew, G to repeat, G to repeat. I'm just selecting all these areas here. And my goal here is to go towards something that looks like a circle. Okay, we're gonna do a shell again. We're gonna do an unfold again. And you're probably thinking that this looks like crap, but as you can see, we're getting there. Move and sew. So G to repeat. Okay, right click shell. And go to unfold once again. All right, it's uh, still a little bit distorted, so we're gonna select a few areas here and we're gonna go to move and sew. And here. And that looks to be all right for the most part. So we're gonna right click at a shell and we're gonna go to unfold once again. 
Okay, I'm happy with that projection. So we're going to go to shell. And we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate it a little bit. Let's turn this off so I can see my controls. Yeah. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Then we're going to go in and we're going to take our cup. I click object mode. And let's do a, not that, let's do a cylindrical projection and see what we got. That's not too bad. However, it's not good either. We're going to go in here and we're going to select this edge down here. So right click edge, that edge. And I'm going to go to polygons and I want to cut the UV right there. And then we're going to right click at a shell. We're going to select the whole thing. And let's go to unfold and let's see what happens. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, let's see if it took this guy or not. Okay. It's down there. It's fine. Okay. So we're going to right click at a shell. I'm going to turn this on so we can see what's going on and let's increase the size there we're going to go to edge and i'm going to start to select these edges and go to move and sew and then right click at a shell and unfold not quite there yet go to edge again and move and sew Shell, let's unfold once again. Now you can see in our shell that it's uh, kind of warped down here. You can see the, uh, the color change. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna right click, we're gonna go in to edge. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this edge here. Let's turn this off so we can see it better. And we're going to go to cut UV edges, right click, go back to shell and let's do a new unfold. And that is much, much better. Okay. I'll turn this back on so you can see what's going on. All right. So, uh, not harm sitting there yet. Let's, uh, go to shell and do a, um, New unfold. Just thinking here. Uh, we have to do this a bit better. So what we're going to do here is we're going to right click at an edge and we're going to take this edge all the way around and we're going to go to cut UV edges and this should make a big difference. So now if you right click at a shell, we just got this guy. And we can go to unfold much, much better. We're going to cut this off and paste it over there. So we're going to go in and right click, go to edge. Take this, 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 and this, and cut the edges. And then we're going to right click go to edge and we're going to select these edges and go to move and sew. Okay. Looks like I got a little bit too much here. Oh, there you go. I got this guy. Uh, let's see. I only want this. Hopefully you guys can see this. Move and sew. That's better. Okay, so I'll turn this back on. So we're gonna right click at the edge. We've got these two. I want that to be stitched together. This looks all clean. Right click shell and unfold. Okay, we're gonna go to shell. We're gonna hit E to rotate this, get, rotate this guy. 
and pull that up a little bit. Then we're going to take this guy and let's see what we can do here. Take this, hit R to scale that up and let's see what's what. We're going to right click at the edge. First let's connect this, okay. So we're going to move and so, and we're going to hit G to repeat. We're going to go to shell, go to unfold. And there's that guy and that guy. Okay, so now let's uh, close this down a little bit so we can see what is what. Okay, so this shell right here, I'll turn this off. That's our bottom. I'm not quite sure what that is. Let's go and control H to hide that. Go to shell. Okay, so that's the inside of our cup, the bottom. This is the actual bottom. So these two need to align up pretty much. But that said, these are not so important from a texturing point of view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll just turn this back on so you can see it. I'm going to take these two and tuck them down in the corner here somewhere. And again, they're really not important because um, it's going to be on the bottom of the cup and we're not going to see it. So I'll just bring that down too. Okay, and then this guy, um, yeah, looks all right. Hit R to scale it in slightly. And now what we need to do is we need to have the whole thing on one UV. So we're gonna go to display, we're gonna go to show and all. So we've got the whole thing. We're gonna go to object mode, we're gonna select everything. And then we're gonna go to UV and UV editor. Here's the whole thing. We're going to go to polygons and layout to get it all nicely stacked. Okay. And now what we can do is we can actually go in, right click shell. This is going to be my lid. I want that to actually be fairly large. Here I'm going to add color in the texture and so forth, but here I need to create a normal map. So I'm going to make this one a bit smaller. And Let's tuck it over here somewhere. And then we'll take maximum space for this guy. Hit R. Okay. So we're gonna turn this off again. This is our UV. So we're gonna drag, select everything. We're gonna go to polygons, UV snapshot. I'm going to hit browse and I'll go to my desktop and I'll call this, um, I don't know, new folder. Just for the heck of it, we'll call this Starbucks. Because while we're making this thing, I have a craving for a cappuccino. Okay, so Starbucks folder and we'll call this UV snap coffee. Okay. Hit save. We're going to do a 1024 map size. Um, that's all good. I want to save it as a JPEG. And that's all good. So I'm going to hit OK. And before we get out of this, I just want to make sure that the entire UV came across. Okay, so just hang on. Okay guys, well I had a look and it looks okay. So that concludes our UVing part of this um, series.